Where are you from? Chicago, Southside, Inglewood, 73rd and Ada. What's your opinion of the state of rap music right now in Chicago? Mm. Like shit. At this point, 2016. A lot of people falling off. <laughs> uh, I mean, motherfuckers doing what they do though, but shit, I don't know. It's like, motherfucker gotta stay above water with this shit, but shit, the music scene like, everybody ain't that how it is, cause a lot of niggas blackballing motherfuckers and shit too, so they ain't giving everybody the opportunity to give everybody the chance with their music and shit, how, how it's supposed to be. It is relatively quiet on the Chicago scene. Yeah. In like, 2016. Yeah, like it ain't. It ain't as hot as it was, like 2012, 2013 and shit. Now, you mentioned blackballing. Um, do you think, when you say blackballing, is it the quality of the music in Chicago? Is it not enough hits that's making the scene hot? Or is it blackballing like you say? Man, it's blackballing. Motherfucker, it's definitely a, enough hits. Motherfucker done did millions, you feel me? You can't tell me like, you can't tell me like, a song that's buzzing and got millions of views, but a nigga got 5,000 views or something there. He get a record deal, uh, you feel me? They fucking with him, you feel me? Like, come on, man. Nigga was getting it. Still, but motherfuckers really giving these people a lot of pressure, like standing on motherfuckers' necks, like, you know? And motherfuckers be want to fuck with us, and then it be all oh, this or that, and motherfuckers said this or that. Like, come on, man. Like. It's just crazy. A lot of fool shit, there's a lot of fool shit in this music shit. Like, once a nigga start fucking with a motherfucker, they, you know, don't fuck with him or don't fuck with him, you feel me? For to get this little money, you feel me? And help everybody get on, you feel me? Motherfuckers definitely blackballing. A lot so, of hate going on. So when you say blackballing, you mean blackballing within the Chicago rap scene or the Chicago rap world? All that. And then even to the main, with the mainstream. So it, it started from small, then big, you feel me? So like in Chicago, then once a motherfucker do get on, you feel me? The certain people that song, once they start fucking with motherfuckers in the industry, and then the motherfucker, oh no, nah, bro, ooh, you feel me? Like niggas would done fuck with niggas and niggas don't went foo, and done saw other niggas around them, so motherfuckers already know what it was about, you feel me? Like that. Now you said also too, a lot of people have fallen off. Define that. When you say fallen off, what do you mean? You mean musically fallen off or music or, you know. Yeah, falling off, getting their ass smoked, all type of shit. Shit, the killing, all type of shit. And people just ain't as hot as they were, shit. Well, really with the blackballing shit, like, it's like once, once them people, that's able to stop shit from happening, that'll fuck you up, you feel me? So that's what all that shit about. Now give me a tour of Chicago for someone that's never been there before. Let's start with the food. Favorite food spot in the city? Uh, Harold's. My fucking shit. Harold's shit on the food and shit. That's a chicken spot. Jerk spot. Jerk Villa, I fuck with Jerk Villa heavy. And that shit. Now what do you order from each? Harold's, what do you order? The Jerk Spot, what do you order? Shit, I get a motherfucking uh, dinner, Jerk dinner. Feel me, motherfucking uh, with the beans and all the shit, cabbage or something, with the wings. Then Harold's, you know, you gotta get the motherfucking, you gotta get the chicken with the mouth sauce, you feel me? The fries with the mouth sauce, salt and pepper, you feel me? The Chicago shit, you know that. Now what about the nightlife? Favorite strip club in the city? Strip club, I don't really be fucking with the strip club. I don't, we, don't, we don't really be doing like the club scene to be like that unless we going to perform or something, you feel me? The club scene, foo, like there's a lot going on. Too much killing and shit, you feel me? So to, Prevent all that shit from happening. Shit, we just <laughs> have a strip party at the motherfucking crib. All the hoes come over there, pops a pussy or something. 
Exactly. And that goes for the nightclub scene too, the regular nightclubs as well. Like, I mean, like, for the usual though, you got Adriana's, you feel me? Adriana's is basically, in the hood, everybody's going to Adriana's, you feel me? Like, that's it. Like, I don't know, like, what niggas doing on the north side, and, you feel me? But, and the bur mostly everybody's going to Adriana's and shit. Red Diamonds and motherfucking, uh, 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 what's that other shit? KOD. Them the main ones and shit. Now, for those that aren't familiar with Chicago, Adriana's is a regular nightclub. Yeah. And then Red Diamonds and the it's other. the strip spot. No, the strip spots, yeah. But shit, you now nah, Adriana shit, they be having little bitches. They ain't even really got no strippers there, shit. The bitches just come in that bitch and start stripping. <laughs> they popping pussy shit. The bitches that come from outside hopping on the motherfucking, all on the motherfucking counters or whatever the fuck, all on on top of every, whatever the fuck they got. The bitches taking they be having little contests and shit like that. Now, we talked about the food. We talked about the nightlife a little bit. Mm -hmm. Someone first time visiting Chicago, anything else you recommend they see, visit, or do while they're in town? I mean, you come to Chicago, like, that's a beautiful town, a city, you feel me? Like downtown and shit. But once you come south and, like, in the hood, Inglewood, east side, now you coming in with the vultures and all the motherfucking woods and shit, like, it's really cracking, like, niggas getting caught at the lights, niggas getting killed, like, a lot of senseless killing go, going on, though, you feel me? A lot of young niggas, though, you feel me? Like, it ain't really motherfuckers old, it's really like the 17, 18 year olds, you feel me? You feel me? That's why we keep them bitches on us, though, you know? Just to, because niggas out here don't, you, ain't got no sense, ain't no motherfucking sense, you feel me? These, Little niggas out here wild, they don't care about their life, you feel me? Niggas don't care about shit, they ain't never had shit, niggas fucked up, bombs. That's all they know, game banging, you feel me? But for a motherfucker that come from out of town, don't just go on no motherfucker block and no motherfucker hood, man. There'd be a lot of funny shit going on, so you feel me? Stay your ass in the birds, some motherfucker where downtown, like where it's real beautiful at, you feel me? Get you a hotel downtown, some motherfucking where, you feel me? Little bitch or something, you feel me? Go shopping, you feel me? And the birds or something. Stay out the way though. Like that's a whole nother world, like downtown area and shit. Like once you come south and west side ain't really too fucked up, but they starting to get on that shit too. East side fucked up. Inglewood been fucked up, you feel me? The Hunters been fucked up. It's just the war zone. It's a war zone right now, you feel me? And a lot of niggas taking that, that war shit and putting in their music and all type of shit. So it's just keeping the violence going up and up and up. Like, but shit, it's our lifestyle, you feel me? Motherfucker, that's how motherfuckers live. That's all the motherfucker know. So when a motherfucker don't know nothing else, that's all they gonna do until a motherfucker show them something. Period. Now, the lingo. What are some terms or some phrases one might hear in the city of Chicago right about now? Bot. <laughs> bot, 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 bot. That's one of the main motherfucking words, you feel me? Explain what a thought is. A whole bitch. <laughs> Old slut ass bitch. <laughs> Ready to do some dicks. <laughs> now what about special events? Are there any special events you might recommend someone come to Chicago specifically for? Like, for example, in New Orleans, Mardi Gras is a week-long celebrated event. Anything in Chicago you recommend someone come for specifically? I don't really know about no special events here. They don't really, they don't really do shit. The city really boring as fuck. Like, <laughs> the whole city scared. Like, <laughs> like motherfuckers not doing nothing. It ain't really nothing special. What the fuck we? Oh no, what the fuck? The Bud Billiken Parade, the Taste of Chicago, like, that's like the only shit they really have for us, like, that's it. In the summertime, the Bud, the motherfucking Taste, I don't really see nothing else, really. Now let me ask you this, um, you, uh, you mentioned the violence in Chicago. Yeah. What's it gonna take to change the violence? Because it does seem out of control. It and this does... shit, this shit rigged already, bro. 
this shit was broke down already, man. Like, it ain't even, it, 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 it is the people, but you got motherfucking, the police killing motherfuckers too. You feel me? Then you got the people, the government really behind a lot of this shit, you feel me? They already set all the neighborhoods up to be like this. Chicago is segregated. You got the blacks only around blacks. Mexicans only around Mexicans, you feel me? Whites only around whites. So like, come on, man. You feel me? They moved motherfuckers to the projects. Made motherfuckers fucked up in the projects. Then guess what they did? Knocked them bitches down and sent them motherfuckers from the projects across the whole city. That's when they fucked the city up right there anyway, you feel me? So. It's like niggas, niggas come from the building, don't really know the streets, you feel me? And then a lot of motherfuckers, it started teeing up, you feel me? And then shit, like, it got a little worse, like 2011, 2010 and shit, 2012. After this Chief Keith shit and all this shit, that's all the motherfuckers start knowing, 30s and all this shit. Killing, 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 killing. It's but, Man, I don't know what the fuck is gonna take to stop the violence though, cause it's like shit, they really behind it. Cause, like if they wanted to, it'd be a lot. Like they ain't they ain't getting no motherfucking no jobs or nothing. You feel me? All this shit they ain't they ain't doing shit for us. You feel me? So a motherfucker gonna get out there and get it how they you feel me? How they know? You feel me? And they be behind a lot of that shit too. You feel me? So all this shit been rigged from the from the jump, man. The government and all that shit was already behind a lot of this shit already, man. Like, they ain't trying to help no motherfucker. All this motherfucker killing, they ain't doing shit, you feel me? They ain't doing shit with like shit. Another nigga gone, you feel me? That's what the fuck they want anyway, the black motherfucker, you feel me? They trying to get rid of our race, you feel me? So, they don't get no fuck about this shit. Brothers, they ain't investigating and really trying to catch no motherfucker that's killing, you feel me? These young niggas just dumb and telling on themselves, you feel me? So, niggas going to jail. But really shit, this shit really easy to, you feel me? Get away with it, you feel me? They ain't gonna get no fuck. They ain't really trying to figure out who killed the motherfucker. They don't get no fuck about us, you feel me? So, but I don't know, man. They don't, I don't know. I don't, they yeah. just, they help do better in the communities, you feel me? Put jobs, school. They just, they tore down like motherfucking 30 some schools or some shit. Like, you feel me? All that type of shit, like right there, that shit will just start fucking motherfuckers up right there. All that shit is already built though, already. They know what they doing already, you feel me? Since the motherfucker was a kid, they already knew. Just like you motherfuckers do to a motherfucking dog, you gonna train that motherfucker to become whatever, you feel me? Whatever you want it. That's how the system just did over motherfuckers' head, and motherfuckers just blind and they see it. And that's all they just did. Finessed us to kill each other, shit. But shit. I don't know what it's gonna take though. These people shit, they just gotta. Cause they ain't gonna do shit to, to try to help a motherfucker. So I don't know. Now let me ask you this, okay? A couple questions come to my mind. Um, Chicago's a huge city, and I don't know how, if you've traveled to other cities like a New York City yeah. or an Atlanta yeah, or a Los place. Angeles, I'm which are also place. big major cities like a Chicago. Yeah. Obviously, different amount of people and different people there too, but yeah. when in, t in terms of violence, Chicago is pretty crazy, but why don't you see this same sort of, I know you, you, know, you have some thoughts and some comments about the system and the government and stuff like that, but why don't you see this same type of scenario happening in like, say, a New York City or in Atlanta or in Los Angeles? I mean, don't get it wrong, Chicago, we just so known right now, you feel me? So, but nigga, come on, man, New Orleans been doing, you feel me? They was number one murder capital, come on, man, you feel me? L LA, they been doing that shit. Do Chris and Bloods, come on, man. And just everybody got their time, you feel me? And hey, Chicago been doing this shit. It's probably way more murders than in the 90s than it is now, you feel me? You just got social media now to show the world what's really going on. But this shit been going on. This shit ain't new. This shit ain't new at all. This shit ain't new. Oh, God. Is 2016 the worst you've seen it? Or have you seen worser years in the past? I mean, obviously, social media is bringing it to light, like you say, but is this the worst you've seen it, violence-wise? Or has I it been mean, worse before? It's been worse. Like, 
Like I say, like the 90s and all that shit, you feel me? That shit was fucked up. Real, real killing though. Like, with meaning, like, you feel me? But this shit been going on. You got motherfucking Al Capone and all that, you feel me? Chicago been a gangster city, you feel me? But now it's just ignorant. Like, a nigga step on your shoe, mug you or something, you feel me? Nigga pull up to the light and look at you, you feel me? Nigga got the move, nigga just shoot me. Motherfucker don't get no fuck, motherfucker just shoot me. It's just like, the killing just became cool or something. Like, it's a part of the swag, you feel me? Like, you ain't cool unless you caught a body or something, you feel me? That's how niggas looking at it, though. Like, you feel me? You niggas ain't no shooters or something, you feel me? So a nigga brainwash your bitch ass. You ain't gonna kill nobody, nigga. You ain't no hitter or something, you feel me? That ain't doing shit but apple the nigga on to go hit a nigga, you feel me? So, it's all like, so now the types of killings are senseless killings Sense where before killer. they made sense It was meaning. Yeah. Right. What you mean? Yeah, nigga, you ran off with 10 bricks, a brick. You feel me? Hell yeah, yeah, bitch, motherfucker gonna get it. You feel me? Like, shit, now all that shit, like, I don't condone the silly shit. Like, I ain't with none of that silly shit. You feel me? And motherfucker look at us like, oh, they got guns or they post guns and all that. We be cooling. But we protecting ourselves. you feel me? Just like the police ride around with them bitches on them so it won't nothing happen to them. We keep them bitches so we won't nothing to happen to us, period. You feel me? But motherfucker ain't out here just, oh yeah, let's just go kill a motherfucker. Oh, he looked at me, we finna kill him crazy. Oh, all that, that shit goofy, you feel me? All that's clown shit. It just, we gonna keep them bitches so, just in case, it might be a nigga that, why this nigga mug me up, you feel me? Like, somebody else might feel that way towards us. So shit, I mean, motherfucker gonna have to, cause I'm definitely, I'm gonna do a motherfucker in before a motherfucker do me, you feel me? But. Motherfucker ain't looking for no trouble though, but they be out here looking for you, you feel me? The devil be working every day, so, you know? Motherfucker just gotta stay focused, but shit, it, it's fucked up, but, you know, it's Chicago. Now let me ask you this. In regards to the violence, is it fixable? I mean, anything could be fixed. Anything could be fixed. You come move a motherfucker, help a motherfucker, you feel me? Put some money in, you feel me? If a motherfucker was getting some money, like, motherfucker don't know nothing, they ain't helping a motherfucker with nothing, so that's all a motherfucker know, you feel me? A motherfucker think you kill a motherfucker over an eight ball nowadays, like, nigga, a 16, like, come on, man. A three, five a week, like, this shit real, this shit sad. It's really sad, you feel me? I don't even condone the goofy shit, though, like, but shit. But these niggas just so dumb. Some of these motherfuckers deserve to be dead, though, to tell you the truth, but shit, you know? But it, I, it's like, motherfuckers out here killing females, killing kids and shit, that shit goofy. Like, nah, I don't, we don't rock like that, you feel me? That shit goofy. Little ass babies that ain't did nothing. Mama got kids, you feel me? She ain't did shit, but. So there's no rules anymore? Ain't no rules, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no structure. See, no back morals. then you had structure, like from the Larry Hoover and the Jeff Ford's and all this shit went. It was meaning behind this shit. Ain't no meaning behind this shit no more. Everybody, whoever in the game, niggas that's GD, GDK. Niggas that's BD, BDK. Niggas that's motherfucking Finball, die five. So niggas don't care no more. And it's like, nigga, I don't give no fuck. You ain't from my block. You ain't with me. You feel me? Because it, it ain't, you know, it ain't, it's, it's, it's more than one game that be with us. You feel me? And we, you know, we doing us. Motherfucker, we rebellion. We not listening to what a motherfucker tell us, you feel me? We do what the fuck we want to do, period. So, and everybody else feel they could do the same shit, you feel me? But if it was structure and niggas was putting niggas in compliance, then, you know, all this shit wouldn't be going on. Niggas used to get their head busted. Big ass head, pumpkin head. GD glasses, both of your eyes closed for doing dumb ass shit, you feel me? You ain't gonna go do that shit no more, you feel me? A nigga do some dumb shit now, ain't nobody doing nothing about it, you feel me? Just like growing up as a kid, you did something, your mama beat your ass. But now a motherfucker don't get no fuck. It's just fucked up, it's sad, but shit. That's why I shot right now, shit. This shit ain't in Chicago. Chicago used to be cool, nigga go outside, walk down the street, have a beautiful day. You feel me? Now nah, nigga, nigga ain't going outside unless they got their gun on them. Nigga looking over their shoulder all day. Who that pulling up on the side, you feel me? Motherfucker don't want, niggas don't even pull up on, direct on the side of a car. 
Cause you don't know who that is in that car. You feel me? This shit is crazy, but this shit real. This is real though.